<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I am Coach Sherry, and this is my morning minutes. It is going to be in the mid-70s today here in the Carolinas. I'm telling you, this spring has been so beautiful. But when I step outside, the wind is blowing, the air is warm, and it's putting me in the mindset of being on vacation. So I'm always smelling for the ocean. You know, I'm listening for those waves and I don't hear them or smell them. And so that's how I know it's time for me to go on vacation to get to the beach. I need to have the beach I need to be on the beach. <laughs> so anyway, what is the weather where you are? I hope that you have some beautiful weather this spring as well. Well, I wanted to come on here and talk about Cash Cow. So as things are starting to open up again, I'm looking around and I'm trying to tell you there are so many amazing opportunities. Now is the time for people to be woke and take advantage of these opportunities because who knows when they will happen again. So, you know, pre-COVID, Everything was bustling, you know, um, businesses had different amenities available for their employees. You know, they had their break rooms where they may have had their snack machines, their vending machines and things of that nature. But when C-19 hit and people were sent home or businesses closed down, they definitely tried to minimize the extra extra money that they were spending out on a monthly basis. And one of the first things that went were vending machines. And so now that people are coming back into the workplace two days a week, three days a week, five days a week, whatever the case may be, a lot of the businesses have not brought back those vending machines. And I don't know if it's because many of those companies went out of business, those vending companies, or they, that's just not at the top of their mind right now. However, employees are starting to recognize that. You know, they're looking around. They're not able to get their midday snack or, um, you know, their drinks that they wanted. You know, just something really quick, not wanting really to step out of the office. But the vending machines, in many cases, are not there. So we have two laundry mats and we have vending machines in there. Um I purchased them many, many years ago from Sam's Club. Actually, Sam's Club has a business side and I don't know if they still have them, but back in the day, not too, too long ago, but several years ago, um, they had vending machines. And so that's where I purchased ours, you know, the beverage vending machine, as well as the snack vending machine. And I know that there are franchise franchises that you could become a franchisee as a vending business, and I highly recommend it. It is definitely a cash cow. I know, I always do this. I don't know, okay, there we go. It is a cash cow. So what you do is, you know, first of all, become a vendor with your local government, with the federal government, so you can put in as a contractor when they have those, um, those opportunities because what they would do is go in and see who is on their list. You, In a lot of instances, you can't just be part of that company. You can't just go, you know, cold turkey or um, blindly into the, you know, cold call them and say, you know, I have this service. A lot of times, especially the major companies, especially the government, they have a vendor list. And when they are looking for a particular service, they go to their approved vendor list because there are things you have to have in place in order to be a vendor. You know, first of all, be a real business, you know, um, have all your paperwork in order. You don't have to have a long, um, a long time frame of being in that business. You just have to be a solid business that are that is credentialed that have that has all your paperwork in place and you know if you're if you are smart you would network so that you can start getting your name out there but typically they would just go to their approved vendors and then that's how they select who they're going to use but I would look into having vending machines um, it is really a great business it is a cash cow and now they have the machines where you can use your credit card so where people aren't using their um, their money you know their cash as much anymore 
you know, having the ability to use your credit card works out and it actually works out better for you um, as the owner of those machines because you don't have to continuously go and be mindful of your surroundings because you're bringing out all this cash, these coins or what have you. Um, there are ways that you can do it where it's just credit card and I would recommend that version of it um, because for instance, our laundromats, they don't take cash. It's We use the card system. So you know, any way that you can make it so that it's um, safer for you. Um, but there's all different types of vending machines. They have the beverage one where you might have the soft drinks, water, sodas, things of that nature. Then they have the snack one. They have one that have sandwiches. So really look at the environment, the surroundings of the office building. If they're far away from, from places where they can get lunch, you know, having a vending machine that possibly can provide them with really healthy choices and snacks and or um sandwiches things like that that would be really a good um a good option so i hope that you got a nugget and this started to spin your wheels into thinking more about having a vending machine business but um like i said it is a cash cow it's another stream of income most millionaires have seven streams of income so if you have a part-time or full-time job, that's your one stream. If you are married, that's two streams. If you have rental property, that's three streams. So you want to continuously build on your streams and it doesn't matter. Any of the streams could sustain your lifestyle, but um, having the multiple ones, they definitely give you a peace of mind. So at any rate, I hope that you have a great, great day. Enjoy the weather, look around, see what opportunities are around you. You, you will be shocked. <laughs> so until we speak again, remember, practice so hard that when you play, you will always play to win. This has been my morning minutes and I am Coach Sherry. Thanks for tuning in.